Hey folks, this week I'm going to throw out three recommended laptops based on hardware specifications. It's important to note that I have not personally used these laptops, and a lot of people might say, well, how can you recommend them if you haven't used them? Well, people email me and message me all the time and ask me my opinion on hardware, PCs, laptops, things of that nature, and say, do you think this is a good one or not? And I try to give my best advice based on the information I have available. So I thought I would go out, find three different models of laptops. I'm targeting somewhere around the $400 to $450 price range and try to compare three that are kind of similar and give you some options and recommendations of what to be looking for. So one of the things I always tell people is to spend as much as you can on your laptop or your computer. A lot of people go out and buy a $250, $300 laptop and within a year they're not happy with it, they're frustrated, and they may end up going and spending $1,500 on a Mac so that they'll be happy just like their friend did. When the fact is, if they'd have just spent a few hundred dollars more to begin with, they probably would not have some of those issues. So. What I tell people is to spend as much as you can on your computer because it's going to be the heart of what you're doing with any of your systems. So if you're on the fence about buying a computer and spending that extra $100, $200, $300 for the next model up, for the one with 8 gigabytes of RAM instead of 4, or maybe 12 instead of 8 gigabytes, or maybe a solid state hard drive versus a traditional hard drive or something like that, I recommend if you can do it, go ahead and spend that extra couple hundred bucks because you will generally will not be sorry you did that. I will put the link to the website for each of these models of laptops in the video description down below so you can feel free to go look at them and look up your own uh, specifications and do your own research as well. So all three of these laptops are for sale on TigerDirect.com. I do not have any affiliation or anything with TigerDirect. I buy things from them from time to time, and they seem to do a good job, and they ship promptly, and they're very responsive. So uh, they do a really good job of making their site easy to search and filter for different laptops and computers and hardware and things. So I do like to recommend them, and, and I have had no issues ordering from them. They're a very large company, and they do have some retail stores in some of the larger cities. So the first laptop we're going to look at is an HP ProBook 450. This is an Intel Core i3 processor, and I recommend if you go with Intel processors that the i3 be your starting point that you're looking at. So i3s, i5s, i7s, you want to stay away from Celerons and Atom processors, and generally the ones that say Pentium 5110 or something like that after them, because those are generally the lower end, slower processors. The i3s and up are what you want to look for with the Intel processors. So this is a 1.7 gigahertz. Pay no attention to that 2.33 gigahertz requirement on Cricut's website. That is for a Pentium 4 processor. They are, they are way, way slower than this. This laptop comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and that is the minimum requirement for Cricut Design Space, and it's also the absolute minimum I recommend for Windows. This will function okay. The processor will make up for some of that lack of memory compared to some of the other systems. However, you may want to consider ordering some additional memory to go ahead and upgrade it. It's very simple to upgrade the memory in a laptop. There's a little door on the bottom of the laptop with uh, usually a single little tiny screw that comes out. That door comes off, and Usually there's an empty slot there. You put the little memory chip in, but sometimes you have to remove the ones that are there and then replace them with the upgraded ones. And according to HP's website, this laptop is upgradable to 16 gigabytes, which is great for a laptop. A lot of them are only upgradable to about 8. So I highly recommend this based on that specification. It has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which should be plenty for most people for what they are doing, unless they're downloading a lot of movies and tons and tons and tons of music and videos and things like that. So this laptop does not come with a CD drive built into it. It is one of the, uh, it looks like it's one of the thinner laptops. And I don't put a lot of weight into that anymore. There, you can get a USB CD-ROM drive at Staples for like 40, 50 bucks. So it's not that important in my opinion. And so this laptop, uh, even if you were to upgrade it, the memory is probably going to cost you around 60 or 80 bucks to go up to eight gigabytes of RAM or more. And you would have, you know, somewhere around 450 dollars in it, even if you did that. So to me, that's a good value. The Intel Core i3 processor with 
the 4005U designation. So let's take a look at the benchmark on that. So here is the Intel Core i3 4005U. The benchmark score is 2461. Keep in mind, I recommend any new computer you're looking at, look at it one that has a processor benchmark of somewhere around 2,500 to 3,000, but you could probably go down to 2,000 okay and be fine with it as long as you maintain your system, keep it running properly, don't install a ton of junk software on it and all that kind of stuff. So I think this would be more than adequate for design space and most general applications. And um, this, you know, certainly looks to be a good value based on the hardware specs and the reviews and, and things like that that I've, I've looked up on this unit as well. Next up is the Asus laptop. This one comes in at $399 on Tiger Direct for a 6 gigabyte i3 processor. Now this processor is a little bit different from the one we just looked at in the HP. This one is a 3217. So let's go take a look at it and see how it performs. So here is the Intel Core i3 3217 1.8 gigahertz processor. It comes in at 2281, so it's just a little bit slower than the 4005U that's in the HP, but it's probably minimal difference that you're not going to notice. The 2 gigabytes of RAM that come on the unit is probably going to mean more to you than that little bit of performance on the processor. This laptop does, in fact, come with a DVD drive built in, and just like the HP, it is a 15.6 inch display. So very similar to the HP Pro Book we just took a look at, it has a couple gigabytes of RAM more. The processor is just a tad slower, probably a minimal difference that you would never be able to tell through daily use. And a, by the time you upgrade the HP, your cost is going to be a little bit more than the Asus. So kind of weigh out your options there. If you don't feel like adding a little bit of memory to the HP, you may want to go with the Asus and uh, sacrifice just that little bit of processing power. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference on you. Like I said, it does come with a built-in DVD drive as well. Next up is a Toshiba satellite laptop. It is an AMD A46210 processor. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. This one also comes with 6, six gigabytes of RAM and a DVD drive. It has a much larger hard drive. It's a 750 gig as opposed to 500 on the first two we looked at. So this laptop looks to be a little bit better unit out of the gate. And of course it comes in a little bit higher price at $443. As I mentioned, it does come with 6 gigabytes of RAM. And when we look at Crucial.com to find the memory availability for it, it is upgradable to 16 gigabytes as well, just like the HP was. The AMD processor is an A46210, so we'll go take a look at that and see how the benchmark compares. And it is just a tad slower than the two i3 processors we just looked at in the HP and the Asus, but it is an AMD processor. So... Just a little bit slower performance at a better value generally is how AMD processors work. In the AMD processors, you probably want to start with the A4 and up processors, and they are using what are called APUs. It's like a processor that combines the CPU as well as the GPU for graphics, and it runs more efficient, but it sacrifices some power and processing capability but you do gain some efficiency as well as save a little bit of money on it. In the AMD processors, you want to stay away from things like Semprons or some of the slower APUs such as E1s and E2s and so forth. So A4, A6s, A8s, A10s, and up are generally where you want to look at for the AMD processor line. So the Toshiba laptop also comes with a DVD burner drive. It weighs in at 4.85 pounds as opposed to 4.7 pounds for the Asus and 5.22 pounds for the HP. So that HP weighs quite a bit more than the other two do as well, even though it lacks the CD drive or DVD drive built in. So that I do find interesting. Usually that is battery weight. All of these units are going to have wireless network cards built into them. However, none of them have Bluetooth built in. So you may want to go out to Tiger Direct's website and purchase a Bluetooth adapter. And you can get those from anywhere from about 6 or 8 bucks up to 15 or 20 so here's an Asus uh, USB. You want to get these little ones. They barely stick out of the laptop. You can just leave them in. You don't have to worry about them getting broke off or anything like that. So in summary, you have the HP ProBook 450, which does come with 4 gigabytes of RAM. You may want to consider upgrading that out of the gate to 8 gigabytes. It does, is expandable up to 16 gigabytes. It does not come with the CD-ROM drive, and it does weigh almost a half a pound more than the other two units, being the Asus 
which comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM, but it's only upgradable to 8 gigabytes, but does come with the CD drive built in, or DVD drive rather. And the Toshiba, which also comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM, but has the AMD processor, which is just a tad slower than the Intel i3 processors that the other two have. It also has the DVD drive built in as well. The Toshiba is also upgradable to 16 gigabytes of RAM like the HP, and it also comes with a 750 gigabyte hard drive. So a little bit more storage, a little bit more expandability, but just a little bit slower processor. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.